Hi guys, this is an update for June the 9th and just to let you know what's going on in my garden I haven't posted a video for a couple of weeks so um, it's just a quick look at the tomatoes lots of flowers seem to be doing okay there's a couple of tomatoes in there but we've had cold weather for the last two weeks we've had uh, down to uh, seven degrees at night and 15 16 during the day it's just starting to warm up again now um, today was 23 and uh, I think it was 11 or 12 last night so we went from 90 degree weather for two weeks to uh, <laughs> uh, 50 degree weather in the evenings so the beds were all starting to heat up nicely and then we had two weeks of uh, seven degree weather which cooled everything down and stopped everything growing pretty much for two weeks so up and down right now the only thing we can say is dry we had a good rain last week which uh, was needed and we were already from that 90 degree weather three weeks ago we were starting to go brown already we had uh, 90 plus during the day <clears throat> for two weeks so this is my beans I've got actually beans in the back nothing up yet um, uh, pole beans and in the front it'll be peas I'm just going to use the same structure for my peas and then at the front it'll be bush beans and then this fence is going to go round as soon as they're up to keep the rabbits out because they scissored all my beans last year <laughs> this is a uh, bunch of self-set um, uh, mountain spinach um, that's from seeds that dropped last year there's some tomatoes I managed to get out the Italian heirloom on the right and I think that's a Sasha Zelte <clears throat> on the left there but they only got planted last night so some uh, maple trees I've got some maple trees not from my seed this, these are ones that came up in the garden actually from the front garden I rescued them they're from that uh, maple tree there so I'm hoping to get them surviving I didn't get any of the ones I was experimenting with in the basement I've got three more tomatoes to put in there now that it's warmer I put some uh, uh, blueberries in this bed and I think we actually have a few blueberries <coughs> there's some blueberries so that's only the first year for them so anyway they're looking okay I think they've taken nicely and then this is my asparagus which I've stopped harvesting now I could still this is the third or fourth fourth year I think I could just keep harvesting but I'm gonna give it a break I've been harvesting the whole of May so that's where I'm at there I got some trees cedar trees planted at the back there as part of my barrier from the subdivision they're not very big but got to start somewhere <coughs> some carrots from last year these carrots so I think my camera is going to run out so I have to hurry this along this is my strawberries from the one plant I had last year I took pups and managed to get 16 individual plants so they're just starting to turn some of them anyway that's um, this was the uh, Mizuna and huh, this was self set from last year from my winter project and uh, it's coming back but everything went to seed very quickly 
Um, I think, Dale, you said you had the same problem with things that come back up. Well, these did exactly that. They went to seed and now gone to flower very quickly. So, um, there's Claytonia on the right there. And this is that, uh, Miz uh, not Mizuna, Mash. But, and a mixed, I forget what that one was, but anyway. Oh, some new trees. So barrier on this side as well. They were a good price, so I got some. This is my rhubarb from last year that I planted. Huge, <laughs> massive stalks. Let's see my hand up against it. These are almost almost waist high. These, well, that one is there. It's ready to go. I've got to get some cut or pulled, I should say. This is the one from the grow room doing really nicely Dale and these are my peppers I just finished today planting the last of the this row of peppers I've still got a few more to plant and a few more to pot on um, this is Zespolets I think and there's some pimentos there they're coming along and, uh, my that's spaghetti squash there, that's uh, red curry, blue curry, and Tahitian. You can tell the Tahitian because it has the uh, white in the veins on the leaves, almost like it's variegated. So, there's a cayenne there, lots of little cans. so I'm hoping that'll do. I've got something of every, most of these are, um, I think these are all King of the North here, and then up there, they're King Crimson, they're all bell peppers, and then there's some green bell peppers up there, generic, and I have an Ardello here that I dipped in the paint can, <laughs> it's just, it's red on one side. Anyway, yeah, so that's the Tahitian not looking great, but we've had some warm weather again the last couple of days, so everything needs water. I've got my soaker hose sort of around the peppers and going down through the middle of the rhubarb and the squash, so I can just hook that up to the hose and give these a good long soaking. They almost look like they're due again. So it just gets hooked up here. <clears throat> so that's pretty much my update. Um, doesn't look like we're going to have any flowers on the French lilacs this year. The uh, one at the house there is all finished. That was very nice. And this peony's just starting to come out up there. My red currant, black currant. Black currant's got a bit of mildew on the leaves and potentially some rust, or that could be just the heat. There's some. Probably need some water again. These are all um, maple seedlings that I'm trying to save hard to see them I need to trim trim them out trim out the grass uh, so they get a bit of a chance can't even see them through the oh yeah, there's one there's a maple seedling right there so I'm trying to avoid these with the mower and uh, this is where the canes are there's a bunch more I got a problem with my grapevine this year. I got little black beetle or beetles, bugs, I don't know what you want to call them. Very small, they're eating the leaves as fast as the leaves come out. This has been struggling for the last two weeks. I think it eventually will win, but <clears throat> I'm thinking of spraying it with uh, uh, soapy water. 
Yeah, I'm back again. I timed out. It must have been 10 minutes. So I was just discussing the grapes and these little bugs. They're eating everything. Little devils. They don't look very healthy at all. Yeah, there they are. I'm not sure what they are, but they're not doing me any favours this year. Grapes look pretty bad. Definitely need spraying with something, but all they'll likely get is uh, soapy water. I'll have to take their chances. There's another maple in there. This is cuttings from the Concord grape. And they were starting to look good, they were taking. And again, the bugs have been eating at them. These have been budded for, oh, two weeks. And every time they get a little bit of leaf, the, those little bugs, whatever they are. They might even be caterpillars, actually. They're long and thin, but they're very small. <clears throat> so, that's about it. That's my update. I've got lots of these little... Uh, maple seedlings all over the garden uh, can't even see that one I'm not sure it's there or not there's one right there looking all right one there so hoping that these take and I'm going to try and baby these through the summer keep them protected and watered if I can a row of them down there where the canes are. They'd be very useful if they'd come up. And they still want to do some, something along the back fence, but I'm filling in these areas because they're narrower and they're easier to fill in to uh, break up the view of the new subdivision. So I will put a, a tree in there. Uh, a um, cedar. These are emerald cedars. They get about uh, three feet wide and 10 to 15 feet tall. So they will fill in eventually, but they'll take a few years. And I might put another row in behind here. So alternate another row about a meter away from these, this side. My neighbor has them across the road over there and they're forming a nice hedge Oops. excuse me there yeah, I think you can <sighs> camera's not very stable on the telephoto anyway so that's my garden for June June 9th I started working on the roads out the back here again now and uh, of course they're not working today but they've been working all week they bring, bring, bringing in fill to, and packing the roads but uh, it was quiet I, they left it for a long time I don't know whether they were just waiting for the frost to come out but anyway it's progressing very slowly. So that's it. Thanks for watching. That's my update for June 9th.